First of all, you want to ask yourself, why do I want to have a website? If your answer is, I want to tell people about myself, my home, my hobbies, my dog and so on, then you need a weblog site. If your answer is, I have cool stuff to sell and I want to offer it on the internet to become a millionaire soon, then you may need your own online shop. This is nothing that you can get for free, but for soon-to-be millionaires it's not a problem to pay for a good online shop. Anyway, it won't hurt to use a free weblog to advertise your stuff. If your answer is, I know so much stuff and I want to share it with the whole world, then you also need a weblog. As you can see by now, the most desirable type of website you want to have is a weblog. And the good news is, you can get this for free and it's easy to set up. First of all, go to wordpress.com and register as a new user. Just click on Sign up and enter your desired username, password and email address. You also want your own blog, so make sure that Give me a blog is selected. You will then get a confirmation mail that you have to approve by clicking on a special link they'll send you. Now log in and go to your very own weblog. A weblog is an individual website with all the information you want to share with the world. A weblog usually has two types of entries, pages and posts. A page is just a static web page that may contain your name, address, email and other stuff that don't change very much. You can also use pages to show the stuff that you want to sell, to teach or to talk about. Pages can be accessed by your blog visitors at the sidebar of your blog. Since they usually don't change, use them for all stuff that is meant to be static over a long time. If you want to insert a link to another website, just select some text and click on the link icon. If you want to insert an image, just click on the image symbol near Add Media.
if you are familiar with HTML, you can switch the editor from visual to HTML, but this is usually not necessary. The posts are different. They are similar to news. For example, if you want to tell your website visitor that you've got that new iPhone, iMac, a new dog, new haircut or whatever, then you write a post. All posts appear directly in the middle of the page, sorted by date and time to show the newest always first. With this, you can write a post every day and your visitors will always see what's going on in your life. So if you have new stuff to tell, a new product to sell or your dog got a new hairdo, just publish it here. To write a new post in WordPress, just go to your account and click on Write a new post. Enter a meaningful title. This is important because search engines will display your post showing the title. So make sure it's interesting and eye-catching for a potential reader. Then fill out the text field under post. You don't need to know any HTML to write the post. You can also add some tags to make it easier to find your post. Tags are like labels. They can be used to find other posts that are using the same tag. You can also put your post under a category. If you don't have categories yet, just add a new category like my dog or my worst haircuts. As you add more posts, you can then find all posts that are in the same category. Now you just click on publish and your post will be online immediately. That means everybody in the world can read it. So make sure this is really what you want. If you want to give it your personal style, click on Design to choose from a bunch of pre-made designs. If you click on the design, you will see how it will look like. To activate your favorite design, just click the Activate link. 